Yeah. It's got the same kind of grip that the um, 82nd Airborne had on it. Oh, yeah? Nice grip. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's, 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 it's I just saw was us, of us shooting the Votech invasion, or me more specifically, shoot the Votech uh, invasion at the ATA show. Uh, there was a huge crowd down there that day. We didn't hardly get to shoot it very much, just the two shots because the crowd was so long. Uh, so I wanted to take just a minute and, and talk about the bow a little bit. Uh, it was one of the most impressive bows at the show, uh, probably in the, one of the top two. Uh, very, very smooth. They've taken everything that I liked about the center pivot bow and everything that I liked about the destroyer and they've combined them. Uh, it's got a very, very nice draw cycle on it. You can see in the shot, very smooth, no vibration no kick to it and the bow's fast. It feels very fast when you shoot it. Uh, of course I didn't get to chronograph it but uh, we're going to be doing a review here in a couple weeks and we'll put it to the test then on the invasion but uh, so far it's one of my favorite bows uh, from the ATA that I shot. Very smooth, very fast and like I said it's really the best of both worlds from the center pivot and the destroyer. So be sure to check back with us. Like I said we're about two weeks maybe three We'll have an invasion and we'll be doing a full review on it there, chronograph, full test, everything from there. So be sure to check back with us at ikesoutdoors.com for more reviews. I like